What's up guys, Victor Designs here with a new tutorial, and uh, starting today, and for the rest of the time being, I am going to be putting up a new upload schedule. So, today is a GIMP tutorial, and from now on, GIMP tutorials will be every s uploaded every Saturday. So, without further ado, today's tutorial is going to be how to make glossy text effect, requested by Wickle. So, I have two designs that I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do. First is the top one, second is the bottom one. I'm not, I'm not sure how long this is going to take, so I might be splitting this up into two parts. So, let's get started. First, we're going to do this one. Alright. So, let me just hide that. Make a new layer, and we'll get started. Let's, I'm going to be writing tutorial. And if you're wondering, the font is elemental end italic. And uh, let me just change the color. Make this a little bit lighter. And I'm going to change how far each le letter is. So if you go down here at the bottom, this little one that says A and B, that changes how far each letter is. So I'm just going to experiment. That looks nice. So I put it at negative 6. Next, we're going to add a gradient overlay on this. So what we can do, create a new layer, go down, and I'm going to be choosing this one. It should be defaulted there, which is just black to white. Alpha to selection to select this. Go to layer and drag upwards. You should get something that looks like this. I'm going to lower the opacity of this to about 50, maybe a little bit less. It depends on what look you're going for. Then we're going to add a shadow type effect on it, just like we did in the orb. So I'm going to create a new layer, alpha to selection this. Then I'm going to go into my lip select tool, and I'm going to select the third one that says subtract from current selection. I'm going to drag outwards. And I'm going to, about like that, again, depending on what you're, look, what you're going for. So after I do that, I'm going to take my paint bucket, and I'm going to select a white color. I'm going to click, and bam, you got that. So now, again, I'm going to lower the opacity to, I'd say, about 20. And you've got the main gist of the tutorial. Glossy effect. Make this a bit less, maybe 15. And last but not least, I'm going to make it three-dimensional. So what we're, how we're going to do this is we're going to duplicate the tutorial layer. You're going to take this alpha to selection once again. Select shrink. See, the reason that we're going to be shrinking is because if you look, because we duplicated this, it's going to it's going to make the edges dark and black, which looks extremely ugly. So we're going to delete that by selecting it, shrinking it by 1 pixel, and going to select invert. Press delete, and the black line goes away. Now, how are we going to make this three-dimensional? We're going to go into filters, blur, motion blur. Now, the length right here is going to be how, how big you want the three-dimension to be. If you, if you do it a lot, then there will be, it will be very long. 
we're going to go for a short look. So I'm going to go about 15 to 18. And the angle it speaks for itself. It's just the angle that the text is at. I have mine at 259. Press OK. And you're going to see this. But it is... Uh, you can see through it. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to have to turn, click on the eye for everything except for the blur. Alright. And we're going to duplicate this. Just keep going. Just rapidly click the button until it comes up totally like that. Right click, merge visible layers, and merge. And now, you've got it. But see, the one problem is if you look at like this R, you'll see that this this gap, we don't want that. So, I'm sorry, but I have found, right now, I have found no way to get past this. So, what you're going to have to do is pen tool each thing. Just go to your either free select lasso tool or your paths tool and just click, click, make the selection and fill it in with the paint bucket. And if you keep doing that for all of the edges, you're going to get this. And it's as simple as that, guys. We might want to make this darker. So you go to curves and just make the three dimension darker. And uh, yeah, click, click, make the selection, select black, and fill it in. So now you've got that glossy effect. By the way, all you need to do after this, merge visible layers. And it's all one layer. So the, so the next tutorial is going to be this. Now you may have seen this in my monster speed art. But uh yeah, so this is how you're gonna be how you're gonna do this. Let's start a new layer. I'm gonna delete that. And I'm going to type in tutorial again. Now the key for this effect is you want the letters to be close together. So I'm going to make this even closer. To about I'd say 13 so now what you're going to do is you're going to alpha to selection you're gonna make a new layer and you're going to select grow I'm growing it by six pixels but it really depends on how big you want the outline to be all right so next we're going to choose a light lighter gray color and fill in, fill that in. Remember you want this outline to be underneath the tutorial. Now it's all a matter of beveling. Go to layer, layer effects, bevel and emboss. And you're going to get this. The number one thing that you want to do is go to inner bevel change the depth size and soften to your liking my pers personally I like it very very s low softness size up depth up about 10 and 30 merge with layer press ok it'll go 
That looks very nice. Next, we're going to just do the same thing with the back. So we're going to go to Layer, Layer Effects, Bevel and Emboss. This time, however, we're going to tone down the depth and turn up the softness to about 3, 4, press OK. And you got it. Merge down. And uh, that's it. If you want to do other things like uh, do the glow with the ellipse tool, you can do that. But uh, I, I like it like this. So that concludes the tutorial. You're going to final image. These are the two final images. Remember to fix this, fix this first one up so that it doesn't have the hanging off text and looks very a lot better. And uh that's it. So guys, remember to leave your you leave your suggestions down at the bottom and uh I'll see you guys next week with another tutorial. Bye.